Hello, Cheryl. Hi, how are you? Yes, I'm doing good. <laughs> doing good. How's the MCO been treating you so far? Oh, it's been busy, busy, busy. I think uh, all kinds of ideas coming up and just waiting to, you know, kind of do the next thing. Okay. It's been okay. Quite busy. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, lot of friends have been telling me that, you know, during this MCO, it's actually, they have a busier life right now than before MCO. I completely yeah. agree, right? <laughs> because why, it's why? More why Sorry, is that yeah. why was I, that um for me i'm an educator at indian international university so we still have our normal classes so if i have a class from 10 to 12 i still have a class from 10 to 12. so my classes and all this are still going on and as you know if you're doing online classes there's a lot that you actually need to do beyond that so many things that you need to prepare to ensure that you know everything is all right and you must have backup plans in case connection goes a bit cuckoo, you know. So there's a lot of preparation as well. And us being in this whole MCO, you also want to kind of give back. And I try to do that through Live As You Rise in the Me series. So trying to give back to people what we can through conversations, so just like what you are doing and Kushbu and a lot of others, yeah. Okay, I definitely want to hear more about that as we go along, right? So for friends, uh, all the friends here who are here on the show, Conversations That Matter, Kindly, you know, just drop by your hi or hello. Uh, there is a small lag of time. So you can, you can, by the time you say this, we will be talking about some other things. Then we will see it and then we will say hello back to you again. Right. Uh, so all the friends of Cheryl, just, you know, come in and just say hi, send your love, your hugs to her so that she knows you are around. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So uh, let me just introduce Cheryl a little bit. Cheryl is actually the founder of Lift to Rise, right? Maybe after this, you just uh, share with us a little bit about what is Lift to Rise. Uh, I think I, I can see you are doing some amazing work there. And she's also an educator in Inti uh, University. Am I right? Yes, I am. Okay, she's one of them who uh, who's from the education side but she's been very active in LinkedIn. I always see her posts, you know, she's uh, sharing a lot of things, sharing about education, um, you know, and also, you know, uh, networking with a lot of LinkedIn folk out there. And a lot of LinkedIn people actually know Cheryl very much, very closely. Uh, she's very actively uh, participates in a lot of the community work. All right. So Cheryl, would you be able to just share a little bit about what is Lift to Rise? My a lift as you rise. <laughs> lift as you rise. Yeah. We can okay, uh, lift as you rise is actually a community based uh, platform. It's okay. completely run by volunteers. So okay. it's very ad hoc. So we're not always on lift as you rise. Hi, Joanne. So what we are currently doing is that we, we try to work on projects that help empower you to actually okay. empower other communities. So we've worked mm. with uh, mentally channel challenge kids. We've worked with Orang Asli Nadri Sembilan. We've worked with uh, young adults, uh, which is the recent thing that we did in February, which is the Lighthouse uh, series. Uh, okay. In the Lighthouse project, what we do is a little conference where we develop young adults. Okay. And the most recent, of course, is uh, myself and Yi, we actually come up with something called the Me series. So that is on conversations that discuss about current affairs, but most importantly, to help us kind of develop personally and also professionally. You know, sometimes our critical thinking mind, we are always in a bubble in our own space. So the whole idea is to kind of break us up from that bubble so we think beyond uh, ourselves and beyond our own you know platforms yeah okay it's amazing work uh, you're doing actually uh, from the, in these platforms i think i've been what i've been following what you're doing uh, you're one of the educators who you know sh shout out a lot about you know things the current ongoings uh, what's happening and all so it's 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 nice to see that okay so um <clears throat> I understand you're also doing a lot of uh, programs in Inti, right? For the students and, you know, together with your other lecturers and all. Yes. Uh, would you yes. be able to share some of them? Yeah, sure. Uh, at Inti International University, as well as all the other Inti campuses, we are very strong with our employer projects. So employer projects is like, for example, say your company, right? Uh, CED, right? So what we do is we work with your company to solve a particular issue or problem that you have. So I'll just give you an example. Uh, I like to work specifically with uh, non-government organizations, those okay. who really need the help. So I've worked with North South Initiative, NSI. So what my students and I did uh, for this employer project is we help manage their social media 
So to bring up their social media, and they were very new with something like this. And if you notice, NGOs they they don't really have much uh, resources, not enough yes. staff. Probably yes. the entire NGO, which looks so big, who goes to Geneva for conferences, has three people, oh. <laughs> and that is including the founders. Yeah, so they don't have sound engineers, they don't have tech people, they don't have specialized social media people. So it makes it very hard for them. So what my students did is uh, analyze that they have this issue. And an entire class, about 40, 50 students, uh, some of them you probably see on LinkedIn, okay, they actually came up with a strategy. How can they use social media in the most easiest way long after we leave them? Because yes, we'll be updating for them and teaching them how to do it for one month, right? But what after that, right? What's going to happen? So things like maybe editing little posters, using Canva, those things are really hard for if they don't have the time, right? Because NGOs, like when you talk about social justice, they don't have time to play around with posters, you know, they yeah, want to go. Yeah. To so we created a system where it makes it easy for them to actually go ahead and do what they need to be do on the ground. But at the same time, use these makeshift templates and things like that, that they can just kind of input in very easily, just change the title, change the topic. And then we had photographers come in, videographers, all these are students uh, and they are oh. amazing to see what they can do. So they actually, uh, they actually uh, fuel the entire project very well. They manage everything. They even came up with a little guidebook <laughs> for oh. you know the director teaching him like what he should do physically as well as online, right? How do you manage it from the PR aspect? So I think it's an amazing way for students to actually learn how to build themselves up because they're not working for the lecturer anymore. It becomes serious, right? You're working yeah. for an actual employer. So yeah. in Uti, we've worked with many people uh, before, right? Uh, this is just an NGO. We've worked with DG. One of my colleagues, uh, Hayati, works with DG. Uh, Xiaosan uh, Yi, uh, that is on LinkedIn with me most of the time, she works with uh, uh, Alliance, Alliance as well on one of their campaigns. So we've worked with many different brands as well. And we try to reach out. That's, that's I think, one of the strengths of Inti, our employer projects. Uh, when you talk about employability, all of our students uh, generally have all done an employer project before and they've worked for an actual employer within that confine of a project and a lot of them have been successful and this started not now, this was like almost 10 years ago when I started in Inti Subang, we, we used to do employer projects as well for even Shell, you know. Wow, yeah. that, I mean that's that's really good for the students, I think they, they can learn a lot of things yes. uh, working with real life, uh, uh, is no employer. amount of theory can, can touch that, right? Yes, definitely. Wow. Okay, um, I, I'm sure some of your students are actually watching the show now. I can see Joanne <laughs> there, right? <laughs> yeah, so uh, today you have been actually uh, doing a lot of uh, implementing a lot of uh, online trainings, online coaching for your students and all. Yes. And as I'm following your work, I also noticed that you use a lot of different platforms. Uh, yes. They are fun. Uh, one of one of the challenges a lot of trainers and teachers are facing is uh, a lot of times that the coaching is like you know just using zoom or google hangout uh, but how to make it more interactive more fun like you know as if it's almost like physically they are there how can the fun element come in so uh and and uh, what else can be done so today we are here with Cheryl, who is going to share a lot of actual work she has been doing with her students here for the benefit of all of us to, uh, you know, to share what can be done with all the multiple different platforms out there. Cheryl, over to you. Okay, so there are actually quite a huge number, as I was telling Diasa earlier when we were discussing, of things you can actually do online to make your sessions interactive, right? But I think the best way for us to learn is not to just, uh, not to just say like, you know, let's learn and I tell it to you. I think the best way is actually to learn it to practice. So let's do a simple activity, if all of you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, before that, I just want to say hi to uh, ah, Dato Alia and also Ashwina Perry. Hi. Uh, hi. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> thanks for joining us. So, Dato Alia, thought... please don't say that I didn't <laughs> mention your name, okay? <laughs> So if you can, all of you, I mean, y'all can also join us as well. Even though we can't see you, maybe you can type it out. All right. And Vias, I want you to do it, of course. Okay. Sure, so if sure. you do have a piece of paper, all right, piece and a pen. Okay. All right. Okay. Give me because a I'm a lecturer, obviously, I have a marker pen. Quite normal. Okay, to go. <laughs> I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to write down five digits. 
okay. okay just five five, five digit. numbers yes five numbers uh, it can be a single or double number is fine okay? okay but most importantly i want you to focus that these numbers represent your life as well as your experiences hmm. okay and try to uh, move away from your birthday uh, please don't use your account number and things like that yeah <laughs> we don't have any security issues oh man <laughs> okay 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 so just come up with the five numbers and uh two, two, two. and okay okay and this is for audience as well right if you're back home they kind of piece of paper or you can even write it on your phone come up with those numbers that relate to your life and your experiences and maybe you can also post it on the chat maybe uh, vs can pick up some of it later on but let's okay. test it first all right <laughs> hi krishnamurti okay yes sir you want to show us your number okay yes so uh, i'll show it through the paper right let me yes. see whether you can see this or not can you see it Five, fourteen, twenty-three, seven, and seventy-three. Yeah. Can everyone see that? Five, fourteen, twenty-three, seven, and seventy-three. Can anyone guess what five is? You can put the paper down for a while. I guess. Okay. All right. Maybe you can type it in the comment your number so they can okay. all. Okay. Yeah, I see. Or the banner, your yeah. banner. Already. Five, yeah. fourteen, twenty-three. Uh, yeah, you know, friends here, you can always type out your numbers so that Cheryl is going to do some astrology numbers on you after this. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just kidding. This is just a game, okay? Okay. I've got my numbers and, uh, you know, friends, just drop in your numbers here so that, you know, we can play a game. This is part of the actual interactive stuff that Cheryl is actually going to show about. Okay, okay. So your numbers again are 5, 23, uh, 5, 14, 23, uh, mm -hmm. 7, and 73. Okay. So yeah. anyone want to guess from the audience, what does 5 stand for, for Biasa? What do you all think it stands for? Probably not his age. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could it be his years on LinkedIn actively? I don't know. What do you guys think? What are some answers that we're getting, I wonder? <laughs> I see Joanne has put in some numbers here. So 21, 8, 18, 28, and 16. 21, 8, that, 18, and 16. 16. Yeah, 21, 8, 18, 28, and 16. That's okay. Joanne's so, number. Let's get Vyasa to demonstrate <laughs> for us, uh, why we're doing this and I'll explain to you as we go along and get a few people from the audience, right? So let's look at okay. Vyasa's number first. All right. Vyasa, can you explain to us what the five is? Has anyone had any guesses so far? Five any is, uh, should I say it now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so five is the date of my birth. Uh, birthday is a, is okay. a fifth plus fifth. And uh, 14 and 23, uh, 14 is the day I got engaged. Okay, 14th. Your and wife will be very pleased with you. <laughs> I hope she's listening in. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Farida. Brownie points. Extra brownie right, points. I got some extra brownie points. I'm going to see a big smile after this. And then 23rd, because um, my lucky numbers tend to be around this five. Okay, so it's a lot of numbers have been five. And then seven, I just randomly wrote this number just now because I couldn't think of anything just now. And okay. then 73 is my year of, uh, I was born. <laughs> ah, now we know how old he is. <laughs> We've yes. got Ashima's number as well, which is 5, 14, 10, 6, and 9. Okay, that's great. So, okay, the whole point of this activity, right, is for us to yeah. see what we share in common with other participants. So let's, let's look at another number, right? Let's look at... Uh, do Joanne. we have Joanne's number, right? So Joanne's number is first is twenty one. What do you guys think twenty one is? Um, her age, maybe. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Is it her age? Yes. It is. Joanne, got to you. Got to answer there, Joanne, if you are listening in. <laughs> 
Is it Joyce? Eight? What about eight? Eight. And then, uh, okay, we're all waiting for Joanne. You can also check with Ashwina's one. Ashwina's putting some numbers. Wow, her numbers are very close to mine. Five, Five 14, 10, 6, and 9. So I wonder if the four, I don't think the 14 matches with, with, with Piazza's engagement date. I don't think I'm <laughs> engaged yet. So I'm curious to know what is the 14 standing for? What is the 14 standing for in Ashwina's number? But she also has, is it five? Five as well. What what is five? Well, twenty one is your age, Joanne. Okay, all right. Okay, so how many people are there? Okay. So and okay. So, Joanne's got back again. Anything with number eight is my lucky number. Okay. Number. All right. All right. And then okay. sixteen is my best friend's birthday. Birthday date. Okay. That's cool. And then let's go back to Ashwina. You uh, you have LinkedIn Live on also, right? Shadow there. I think no. you have it on because you're seeing it there, right? Oh, you're seeing it in the chat. Okay, got it. Got yeah, it, got it. In the chat. Uh, <laughs> Anand has been very helpful. Yeah, Anand, cool, cool stuff there. And then thanks a lot. Anand is the sound engineer who's doing a lot of stuff at the back, background, back room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why are we doing all this numbering, right? Okay, yeah. so when you're doing a training or when you're doing an online class, especially if it's with a new batch of students, like I'm yeah. very lucky, right? Uh, yeah. Tracy Leong, Ashwina, those are students that I've taught since diploma. So I know them very well. But hi, honey. So, but yeah. if you talk about uh, trainings, right? Most of the time, you only get one chance to do a training with a group of people and then that's yeah. it, right? Yeah. So the impression is very important as well as that bonding. You want your participants to kind of bond and yeah. have good chemistry with each other. So the yes. reason for doing this number game is so that everyone kind of gets to participate instead of just listening to you. They kind of get to participate with each other and identify what is the similarities as well as the differences between them. So you go like, yeah. wow, you know, Vyasa, his date is 14. Oh, that's so close to mine, you know. Mine yeah. is maybe the 12. You, you get what I mean? Or maybe yeah. you find like maybe Vyasa and you share the same birthday. So you find some sort of similarity and you kind of start building that connection. But of yeah. course, like we are having this live session, so I can't really see your numbers. I can only see through chat. Yes. So what if you want it to be a bit more interactive, right? So we can kind yeah. of play around with different platforms. So right. maybe Vyasa will share with you right now a link to uh, a site that I've given him okay. so that you can actually see it. Which one and is that, Cheryl? The Thank Padlet. You. Padlet, okay. The Padlet. Yeah. Right. Padlet.com. Okay. This yes. is the first time I'm hearing this also today. All, you know, for all our friends here, this is the first time I'm hearing all these platforms. But I found it quite fun. Lah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen. So as we, we share this, this site with you, I want the rest of you maybe to add your numbers or tell me how you feel about this activity so far. So the beauty of using Padlet is that you can actually put a meme. You can... You can actually search for Google image and add pictures, uh, memes. You can add uh, words. It, it depends on what you want, right? You can even add an audio note. You can uh, you can record an audio note. So there's so right. many things you can do. I just want to share with you, Padlet, okay. yeah. so that you can see it on the screen as he sends it to you. Just give me a minute. OK, I'm just going to click it. Can you all see this? OK, just a minute. Let me just get it up. Yeah. Okay, so far there's only mine. So for those of you who are logged in right now, please go to the link that I believe uh, Vyasa has shared. And please add, you can see at the, the right-hand uh, right side bottom corner, you will okay. see a plus sign. When you click that plus sign, you can actually add on more uh, notes to this. Okay, just, just give a minute, uh, Cheryl. Sure. I then how to share the link to Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Just give just give a minute, yeah. Definitely, no problem. Uh, so anyway, while we're waiting, right? 
Yes. So the whole idea of using Padlet, right? The beauty of it, I find, is that if you're doing a training, and right. just say, for example, Yes is very lucky. He has Anand by his side, right, to kind of help him yeah. out and, and do things. But most of the time, when I do the me series, I'm on my own. Okay, or if I do any sessions, most of the time I have to really focus on what's being said by by the guest, right? And it's very yeah. hard to kind of do two things at once. And right. if you want to monitor the chat, I think a lot of people who do live sessions can understand where I'm coming from, yeah. that it's hard to monitor who is saying what. So this way, if you put it on Padlet, then it's right. very easy. Like I can see, oh, this is Tracy's number. So as they right. add it, for me to look and monitor, it'll be right. really, really great. It's also awesome to use it for, say, brainstorming sessions. So say, mm -hmm. for example, I'm just going to add another... Uh, something, uh, let's see, uh, maybe I look at images, maybe I want to put a happy image here. Okay. So I just have to search for it. Can you see that I'm searching for it on the right-hand side? Yes, yes, I can oh. see that, yeah. So I just click, okay, let me just do it again, very okay. uh, slowly. You okay. see more, okay, or I can just click this Google button here. Okay. After I press uh, the plus sign. Mm -hmm. Look for images or I can look for videos or GIFs. Okay. So just say I look for happy and I click. Okay. okay. So say for example, I click that. Right. You see, I can just add a happy. Oh yeah, it's like a like a meme there. Yes. This is a, a, a GIF. Okay. This is how I feel. GIF, All right. Okay. I'm okay. super excited, right? Oh mm. wow, zero zero zero. I will be very interesting to know what the zero zero means. If it had been a nine at the end, I would wonder whether it's like a born agent or what. <laughs> it means someone's actually <laughs> writing in there, right? Yes, yes. You can see someone writing in. Okay. 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 So we have like Tracy's number. Or say, for example, maybe we want to do something different, right? It's not just mm. the number game. Say mm. you want to get them to brainstorm an idea, right? Or right. we're talking about, okay, work from home or, you know, mm. study from home. How are you mm. guys feeling about this study from home? Can you post your feelings? How do you feel about it? You can use an emoticon, you can use a GIF, you can use a, a meme, right? Show me how you feel. So maybe we can get, uh, we have Ashwina, we have uh, Dato here, we have Fariza, right? So maybe you guys can add and put a GIF or meme or whatever that, you know, works for you that you feel can help express yourself on okay. this platform. Yeah. So the whole idea is we want people to be able to interact and feel, you know, excited about that whole session that you are running and they feel like they are part of it. And it's also easier from the technical point of view for you to kind of understand what's going on. Right. Right. It's, it's also like a fun way of chatting and then explaining things with graphics and everything. Right. Yes. Yes, definitely. Mm. definitely. And, and it's a bit of a warm up as well. Okay, like the number game is a bit of a warm-up because, you know, none of us know each other. Okay, right. like me, I'm very lucky. Some of them I know, all right? right? But sometimes we go into trainings where we've never met anyone before. So you're kind okay. of like indirectly breaking the ice right. and people are sharing a lot of things they don't realize is actually very personal <laughs> if you think right, about right, it, right? right? If not, there's no way, you know, Vyasa is going to share with us yeah. his date that he got engaged. But, you know, this kind of breaks that ice it breaks that barrier that we can actually use. Okay? okay. So that's just an example of what we can do on a okay. on a just, simpler just a minute, note. Right? Just a minute, yeah, right? Sure. So Honey has asked, she's logging in Padlet. Uh, do I search okay. for you? So she needs to actually get the uh, actual link, right? Yes, yes. Just uh, click on the link. Actual... You'll be able to see the okay. the uh, let just me just post the actual link. link here so that uh, Honey, I hope you can see this, uh, padlet.com, and then as, as this this link there. Yes. And then you yeah. have to post it on uh, my personal Facebook also. And then thank you very much. Okay. So, for example, if you see mine, and yeah. can you see I'm moving it around? Yes. So you can actually move things around, okay. okay? Like say, for example, there's many more right at the bottom of the screen. I might yes. want to move certain things around. Ah, okay. All right, all right. I can also kind of change the, the layout or how I want it to look like. Okay, I can change the settings here. I can change the wallpaper maybe. 
maybe I'm bored of this picture, I can change it into something completely different. Like maybe mm. I want to go to outer space. Uh, <laughs> so you can play around with, with uh, this kind of thing. Okay. All right. Right. So there are so it, can, it can actually like you know when it comes to a group decision making or something like that you can actually just quickly get the uh, who's in who's not in who's uh, who is like against and all all those things right and why a lot of things can be done here with this just just this. yeah it's an excellent tool for brainstorming to be very honest because you can get people to kind of tell you how they feel you know mm. and can be expressed through many different ways so if mm -hmm. I click on, if I click on the one that I created earlier, or if I right. they want to come up with a new post, right? So if you see right. here, if I click here, you can search for Google Images. Can you see that the Google sign that I'm on? Yeah. Google search yes, images. yes, 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 yes. You can snap a photo. Like someone might say, guys, okay, uh, like I did a training with Inti International University Nilai staff, right? And I was doing working from home, how right. to reduce or cope with the stress. So I might right. say, okay, give me a picture of where you're at right now. Okay. So they can snap a photo and show me. So it really helps with a lot of interaction. You can okay. show a short clip. You can record voice audio maybe. You can record your screen. You can draw. You can place... Uh, add a location to where you're at. Say, for example, we want to do another activity right at the beginning mm -hmm. of the session. I want to say, mm -hmm. hey, guys, can you tell me where you're coming from? So then you can even add your location. Right. Okay? Uh, yeah, I wanted um, to see that one. Yeah, that one would be quite interesting, right? To see their yeah, physical yeah. locations, where they are. So you can see map. where they're at. Okay. So you see, you can see the <laughs> satellite <laughs> location to where you're at. All right. So it really depends on, on what you really want to do. There's so many options to how you can use a Padlet. But let me be very clear with you that it's not the tool really, it's how you as a facilitator actually uses this tool that makes it interesting or not. So the same the same activity I talked about, what's your number, right? So I can either show it via uh, this paper, like this physical. So it really depends on what kind of trainer you are and what kind of uh, audience you have. So if you have audience that prefer more physical stuff like maybe you're not so good at doing all the digital stuff, you might want to get them to feel comfortable, right? And more physical, why not use pen and paper? That's fine as well, right? You can also use pen paper and ask them to write their number. Like, you know, what's your favorite number? And then you just get them to show you, right? right. So okay. There's so many ways to do the same activity, whether you want to go digital. So you can still be physical while we're digital as well. There's so many ways to do that. It's just another medium. Okay, let's go back to the board. Okay, got it. Okay, so any questions about this uh, Padlet? So friends, any if you have any questions, again, drop in in the comment section. And if you are in, on Padlet already, you can also drop your comments on Padlet if you like. Yeah, you can, definitely. Okay. okay. So, if there's uh, there's nothing else, then maybe we can move on to other things as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So before we go into that, so that's the first technology I want to introduce to you. Some okay. people are already using it, but maybe you didn't know there are a lot of other features as well. Okay. Yeah. Some of you have never used it before. I implore you to try. It, it can be quite fun. Sorry. I'm one of them. You are one of them. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> And, and please let me know how it went, right? What was the experience of using Padlet? Okay, oh, yeah. And it's really good for those of us who have no money and want to save as much as we can, especially during MCO, right? So if you're using certain features of video conferencing and you don't have certain tools, that right. maybe you, you can't use certain tools, you can actually use these external third-party sites to actually help you have that same level of interactivity. Okay? okay. You're not confined to certain types only. Right. All right. Okay. So another thing uh, we can do actually is something very, very simple. We can actually talk about uh, the most simple uh, thing to do when you want to connect before you start giving your content, right? So I was talking to Vyasa about this earlier, right? So this is also something very physical. Uh, we call it body poles. Okay? okay. So when you talk about body poles, we usually use it in presentation skills, right? So if you want to get your, your participants to be active with you, you want them to kind of move, right? So maybe I want to say, if everyone here is having fun, do this. Okay? Like two hands, do this. 
or maybe I can say if if everyone uh, can hear me, right? Something very basic, you know. Put put uh, where's my screen? <laughs> Thumbs up, for example, yeah, it's right? It's a normal, common thing. We yes, we get this with left and right. Yes, yes. So yeah. there's also another game we can do. I don't know whether you want to do it right now because we didn't discuss it. Earlier. Okay, yeah, yeah but, go ahead. Uh, this this or, another... <laughs> <laughs> yes. You okay. have to do it. Right? Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. Okay. Okay. So all you need to do is, based on the words you hear, you mm -hmm. need to point to the right or point to the left, right or left. Okay. 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 Yeah, only the thing in camera is we we okay. just got it. Yeah, Johan, just, said, just do it. Yes. <laughs> Johan, so, you're getting get me into trouble. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have to leave this. I cannot show you everything, you know, then it's just no excitement to it. So okay. this is, I think, an activity that you can do to just kind of get people, you know, feeling more comfortable. It can be done in any kind of training. Okay. okay so okay. I'm going to just tell you the story and we'll see how, how Vyasa does it and you tell me how well he's doing it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your students so are telling it's cool. What it's level cool. you want me to go slow? Uh, <laughs> you want me to go slow? Please. Slow, Medium please. Advanced? I'm a bit slow when on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So today, I would like to tell you a story about Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Right. Ready? This side. Right. The, am I right? Am I? Am no. I right. right. This way. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Got it so far? Got it. Okay, everyone watch, watch, watch Vyasa carefully, yeah? And please, actually, if everyone can take part, it would be great as well, even though we can't see you. It would be quite fun, okay? okay? So, I'll start again. I'd like to tell you a story about Mr. and Mrs. Wright. One evening, they were baking cookies, and Mrs. Wright suddenly said, Oh, no, there's no flour left. You will need to go out to the store right now. I can't believe you forgot to check the pantry. Grumble, Mr. Wright. It will only take 20 minutes if you come right back. Go to the corner of 1st and 2nd Streets and turn left at the stop sign. Then go to 43rd Street and turn right. The shop will be on your left, declared Mrs. Wright as her husband left the house. Mr. Wright found the store and asked the assistant where he could find the floor. The assistant pointed and said, go to aisle 4 and turn left. The flour and sugar will be on your left. Mr. Wright made his purchase and walked right out the door. He turned left, oh, but no. he couldn't remember where he had left his car. Are you following so <laughs> far? He finally found the right car. He opened the boot and put the flour right inside. Eventually, a very, very Mr. Wright found his way home. Mrs. Wright had been waiting impatiently. Mr. Wright, I thought you would be right back, she said. I left all the cooking ingredients on the kitchen counter, do you know? And the cats got into the milk. You just have to go right back to the shop again. Mr. Wright sighed. He had no energy left. I'm going right to bed, he said, and left Mrs. Wright standing in the kitchen all alone. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. How was that? <laughs> oh, I had to really, 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 really focus, and that's going slow, right? Yes, that's going right. very slow. <laughs> okay, and I didn't even add the. I don't know whether you were doing the left as well, but you could add the right and the left, the right and the left. Okay, so how did y'all find that activity? <laughs> yeah, so I'm hearing some comments here. It was fun, right? Join <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, honey, okay. thank you very much honey sangeeta you can add this as part of your you know exercise you always do in your talks and then uh Joante, uh, it's fun <laughs> so the, the whole idea of of doing this actually indirectly i've taught you about our second tech tech that i thought that i think is really really crucial right so there's another site that i actually got this from i actually learned this from someone and i think one thing great about being an educator is your willingness to be learning from other people, right? I don't know everything, but I, I, I took the opportunity to keep on learning 
and YouTube yeah. is an amazing platform. And that's where I found this guy. You can add him on um, LinkedIn as well. His name is Mark Collard. Okay, Mark I will just type okay, Let me just write it down so that everyone can follow this yeah, person. Mark What's Collard. M A R K. R K C O L L A R D. I've already typed it out in the okay. chat. Okay, got it, got it. I'm going to show this Mark Collard, right? Yes, Mark Collard. You can add him. He is actually the main guy when it comes to this website, which I want to introduce to you today, called Playmio. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Playmio. Let me just write down this. So Mark Collard, right? So he's also available in YouTube, isn't it? LinkedIn. He's LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, and he does a lot of webinars. Yes, to kind of introduce what this Playmio is all about. So okay. his uh, Playmio website is about online resources for icebreakers and group games. Wow, okay. which is amazing. That's superb. Yeah, superb. Definitely it's important amazing. for us at this time. You can follow him on LinkedIn as well. I just added him <laughs> recently. LinkedIn, huh? Okay. Uh, yes, yes. And I've communicated with him as well, talking to him that we'll talk about it as well on the show today, all right, right? right? And I think Playmio is an amazing way for you to find ideas. And the first game that I play, what's uh, what's your number, right? Identifying your number is also from um, Mark's list on Playmio. So, of course, as usual, you have the paid and the non-paid version. But even the not paid version is really good. But I think for trainers, you might want to look into actually subscribing to their paid plan because the, the resources that you can get is very practical. And it's not something that you hear about that, you know, is okay, but it can really work very well. But of course, as a facilitator, I think it's important if I just read that story like, hi, guys, today, Mr. Wright walked to the right and, you know, he went to the shop, you know, and on the left, he saw a shop, uh, you know, his favorite, you know, people also fall asleep, right? Yeah. So it's not just about the tools that you have, but also what you can do with it, right? Mm. So I think that is also something that you can implement into your, your daily trainings. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a lecturer or not, but you can also use, like we've gone through body poles, we've gone through the use of pen and paper and, Another thing we can actually also use is uh, trying to get people to participate and engage, which is coming to the third technology that I want to introduce to all of you. Okay. okay. So I think my students are quite familiar with this technology. We've used it before in class. Okay. okay. We haven't done it in a long time, I have to say, but we, we have used it in the past. And yes, we need to learn definitely, Sangeeta. I completely agree. So there's one more thing I want to play with y'all, if y'all don't mind. Okay. okay, just before that, right, Cheryl, just before that, right, yes. just say hello to all the gang here who has come and said hello. All right, so we have, uh, Hi. we have Reka. Hi, Reka. Good afternoon. I hope you're enjoying the show so far. And then we have Honey. Honey, and Honey. Of course, My we love have Anand. 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 Thank you so much, Anand. It's so helpful. Johan. Johan is actually running a kids. Yes. Okay, I know uh, one of one of my ex students, uh, Kenny, works with him very actively, doing yeah, all this yeah. YouTube thing, and I think it's amazing. Uh, yeah, I've yeah. always looked up to Johan, but I've never really met him before. So oh, you know, you can see maybe. him soon. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Okay, Hi, so, Johan. I hope I hope you're doing well. And I like what you do in public speaking. Good friend, Sangita. Adui, Vyasa. What did you do, Vyasa? No, no, it was, it, was, it was the show. You know, she also does this thing, the game always when she gives her talks. Yes. And it's very engaging, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, totally, okay. Then on, on LinkedIn, we have Ashwina, we have uh, uh, Samukan, and then we have Tracy. Hi, Hi Ashwina, Tracy. Nice to see you guys here. Okay. Need so support. Let's, let's go back uh, to to our thing here. So we okay. have Playmio, right? So your game. Yeah, please, please check out the, the Playmio. It's I guess okay. the banner right there. Yeah. It's yeah. really an amazing resource and it's very easy to learn. It's just adding your personality to the activity. Then it, it gets really, really uh, done really, really well. Hi, Hi Sandra Kumaran. Hi. Okay, so one more thing I want to introduce to you all, the last technology. To be honest, there's so many, right, so right, many. Right. But just, just the few that can actually start you off. And this is something, this is really used a lot in Inti. We even have a training for Kahoot run by our Inti online team. I have to give shout outs to Azina. She's the first few people that taught me how to use uh, this particular technology. So I'm going to share with you all the link. Kahoot, okay. right? 
Kahoot.it. We have yeah. that? Kahoot.it, yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. So, can you see that on the screen? Oh, not yet. Let me You want me to screen share? It. Okay. You got it. Just, oh. uh, this is... Uh, just let me share that. Can. Sure thing. Just give me a minute. Okay. Take your time. <laughs> Honey loves Kahoot. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I decreased the, the volume. Sorry about that. <laughs> And I want to share with you the screen. Yeah, Cheryl, there's a little bit of comment. Just okay, can it. you see the number? A little bit. Okay, got it. Okay, so we got to okay, go. Can you see the number? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to off the volume a little because uh, until too loud, you said, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, oh, the number so is eight seven. Yeah, please just go into that link. Okay. All right. So use the the pin number to join into that link that they just gave you, which is www.kahoot.it. Okay. Okay. So while you're waiting, I'm sure some of you have used Kahoot before. It's actually a very very popular app. Okay, it adds a lot of fun to, to what you're doing. It makes it more exciting. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, still can. We are still. So we've started. Okay, but mine is hanging a little bit. So I'm, I'm just going to just watch this for now. So it's a game. Yes, it's a game. Wow. Okay. Sangeeta is already in Kahoot. Okay. <laughs> so we have Voice, Hawk, Joyful Camel, and Aquatic Possum. Very interesting names. <laughs> what is the name of Yasa's guest today? Mm. <laughs> All the familiar names. Cheryl Vita. <laughs> you don't know my name, we have a problem, I tell you. <laughs> it, it's very simple questions, la. it's nothing very serious. Okay. What's the best way to promote? Yeah. Sangeeta said, I can't see the questions. Uh, the, what is the code number again? Oh, okay. 87. Sangeeta, you got to go to this again. Eh? 879059. Okay. You need to add that into the code if you haven't. Mine was hanging a little bit. Ah, okay. Okay, we have two more questions. This is very easy. True, false. What's the question?
Well, wise hawk is in. I wonder who is the wise hawk. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so pretty much the idea is uh, just to have a bit of fun. It's okay. not for some it's not like some, for some major you can't use it like really to kind of identify. It's just like yes or no questions, true or false, right. very very basic things. You can right. also add images into Kahoot, all right? Uh, you can add videos, things like that. But uh, I think there was a question from someone earlier, right? Okay, you About, know who's wise hog? Who? It's Sangita. Wow, very wise indeed. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. did y'all notice when some of you join, you got like different names? Okay. Uh, so, what you can do is a name generator. Oh, Anand, now we have <laughs> you want, is it? We, we, we can actually use different names because sometimes you're worried. Like, sometimes when I go and uh, deal with students, young, young students, they put cheeky, cheeky names. So, <laughs> to avoid some cheeky, funny names, you can actually have this generator, so it creates all these exciting new kind of names. Yeah, it creates this exciting. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah, we should do one more. Yes. Some of them couldn't join. Okay, okay, never mind. It's okay. I want to battle you. Anand wants to battle me. Okay, battle you, I think. <laughs> Johan okay. said, I got camel. <laughs> Johan is the camel. <laughs> Johan, oi. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the new generator is actually very cool. I think there was a, a question or comment from Bistari. I'm not sure the, the yeah. full name about what other platforms yes. can be used. Yeah, uh, Ganapati. Uh, I will share with you later. I have an entire list of uh, names and maybe later on i'll also share with you a, a, a bunch of slides that you can follow on my profile later i will share the entire slides that i've created for this session actually but we didn't want it to be a presentation ish so we're actually having a bit of a conversation so later i will share with you the actual links to other things that you can use there's also something else these are the three fun technologies you can use but the other things that you can use uh, hi siva uh, like for example jeopardy games okay uh, that is actually very fun. You can come up with that one is a bit more detailed. You can use like definitions, things like that to actually come up with things uh, that are more, you know, you want to find out if they understand methodologies, especially for classes and things like that. So you can use Jeopardy, Jeopardy Labs. I will share with you the link later on. <laughs> yeah, we do that a lot in, in college. Out of the gang, want to join right now. Want to join, just couldn't get to join. <laughs> okay, we'll do the, another the one. Right now, right? So actually, if you think about it, right, so many people want to join. It's because if we talk about games, right, no matter how old you are, whether you're 20, 40, 60, just take, take someone to Sunway Lagoon and put them there. I took my, I mean, we all went together. My father, who's like in his 50s at that time, just went crazy. So we all love games and we should think about that idea when we are doing it for trainings and also our classes because people love games. So whether you're 10, 20, 30, 60, you can include games inside. It gets people excited and also it makes people a bit more competitive and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, do I get that answer? Even if you know that answer. True, sure, sure, honey. I, I will send you that email as well through your email. Just remind me. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So that, that's one of the fun technologies. If we have a bit of time, I don't know, Biasa, if we have some time, I want to we actually have, have. mention a few other things you can do. Of course, sure this thing. is going beyond our three fun technologies, because to be honest, there's so much more from there. Yeah. Maybe I want to actually introduce to you uh, some things that we can actually use. If you guys are all familiar with using Zoom, I believe, all right? Yes, very much. Maybe I want to share with you uh, some of the things that you can actually use. I will just show you the screenshot of it. I believe uh, Vyasa is coming up with uh, a session to a free session to explain how we can use Zoom more interactively. For now, I'll just show you the picture to give you a bit of an idea. Maybe you yeah. can join the session later on to see how it works uh, live, right? 
So for now, yeah. I'll just show you the picture. So sometimes when we are we are especially for opening of a session, right? You want to do you want to do a session and get to know everybody, right? So this goes back to that opening sec section again, right? So how do you get everyone to know each other and kind of participate? So besides that number game, there's something else that you can do. This also I learned from uh, Mark Collard, okay, which I thought was really amazing. I just watched one of his sessions. I'm going to share the screen with you now. Let's look at this. Okay. Can you see this? Let me... Uh, okay, just hold on a second. Let me just add this in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so sometimes when you guys are using Zoom or Cisco, any one of these platforms, right, you have that annotation button, especially in Zoom, right? And what you can do is you can just put a blank map of the world, depending on where your audiences are from, or maybe Malaysia, what you can see is actually Malaysian map, and get people to, if you see the heart shape, that's one of the stamps you can use on Zoom, okay? But in Zoom, you just have to be careful that some of the Zoom features, you actually have to go to the web where you register your settings, right? And actually make changes to the settings. If not, you won't be able to see many of the settings there. So you can just use this love shape stem to get them to kind of post everywhere here where they are from. So it's kind of exciting. Maybe I can see like, wow, you know how we get excited? I don't know about you guys, but if I know someone is from like, I'm from Telo Intan. I don't know if anyone else is from Telo Intan here. So like if I see someone on the map like Pera, I'll be like, yes, Pera people, you know? <laughs> you, you get excited when you see people or Sometimes it's exciting, right? You see like, wow, there's someone from Ghana, you know, there's someone from maybe uh, 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 Togo, there's someone from China, you know, you get excited when you see people from different places. Hi, Fariza. So I think one thing which is exciting that you can actually uh, look at is using this annotation software. So when you use the annotation software, this is something like how it look like. Can you see the heart there? So I'm like around somewhere near Ipoh. My, my geography is not fantastic, so... Excuse right, right, me, right. Here. Uh, just close by to Ipo is where I'm from, right? So you can get people to kind of connect with the stamp that you can use via Zoom. So maybe next next session, we can talk about how to actually use it. I can show you step by step the, the ways in using it, okay? okay. Uh, another thing that I also want to share with you is the use of polls. Have you all ever done polls before? You usually do polls in Zoom. But uh, unfortunately, you can't use the free version for Zoom to do polling. You have to use the paid version. So paid version is not so much. It's about 14, 14 something USD. So for those of you who are doing training uh, as a vocation, I think it's a good sum of money to actually invest in. It's not that much monthly to actually invest in something like this because in the free Zoom, you don't get the webinar option. So this comes under the webinar option. But I use another system under Inti, which we call Blackboard Collaborate, which is where I'm showing you this uh, screenshot from. It's from one of my students actually running a presentation, right? So it's not just you, but you can get the people in your session to present, okay? Mm -hmm. Like you can do a whole session on how to present or do a training interactively. And that's what the session that you see here is about. So they got someone to do an external test and then we checked what are people's scores. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's one way you can do that. Okay. Using these polls. And another thing is interactive whiteboard. Okay. In so, Zoom, they have this? Yes, they have this as well. Okay. Wow. The interactive whiteboard, or they call it a whiteboard. Uh, they just call mm -hmm. it the simple whiteboard, right? On Zoom. Mm -hmm. In different locations, they call it different things. Okay. But right. generally, the idea is like this. Uh, this is from one of my sessions where I was doing a training for Indy International University staff. And we were right. talking about how to cope from about uh, to cope when you talk about stress, right? Working from home, right? How do you cope? And is it a bad emotion to have to be stressed? So you can see all the answers here that they actually gave me. They said, you know, I don't believe everything until I validate. So I don't get so stressed when they talk about the news. Some people say they think it's normal. No, it's okay. It's natural. So people had... Uh, different opinions. So if you want people to write what their opinions are, sometimes people are shy to voice it out via video. They don't want to like come on screen or they don't want to use their voice. They're afraid. But this way you can kind of get unfiltered versions of what people think, you know, and really go to the basics. A lot of people will share things like the last two weeks or so, My I teach a professional development class. What they've been doing is doing trainings. 
uh, this is uh, linked to the conference that we have and they're doing trainings to actually show me what they've learned but they need to do it interactively so some of the snapshot you've seen is actually from my class students doing presentation not just me they are presenting but it's no longer a one-way presentation they get their classmates to react to it as well okay yeah. so i think it's let me just stop sharing i think it's very important uh, to actually include that whole element of sharing taking into account uh, things are not perfect guys uh, we are online, yes. Some of us are very blessed. Uh, those of us on LinkedIn, especially, we are considered middle classes. So we have access to technology very easily. Some of them are just using data. So it's going to be hard for them to use certain features. So video might be hard. You know, they might only be able to use audio. Sometimes even audio is hard. So typing is yeah. easier. So yeah. using that whiteboard gives more options to different people to use, especially if you're running classes and you can't get them to go on video. Another good option is using this whiteboard. And trust me, they'll be extremely honest because mm. no one knows what and who is writing. It's anonymous, right? So you have a bit of that feel. And I think mm. that's really cool as well because you can be completely honest, especially for trainers doing uh, training on things like emotions, you know, uh, how to deal with, with your inner, uh, the inner you, uh, mental health, those kind of things. This might be very, very useful, I feel, uh, for people, right? to use that any right, question right, right. yeah so, so again friends if you have questions you know feel free to drop it anytime during this conversation uh the there will be a small lag about one minute half a minute or one minute so just give us a little bit of time we'll be chatting of other things first and then we'll get back to your question right definitely okay. definitely yeah. Uh, one more thing I really want to emphasize on, I think during the Kahoot session, I asked one question, right? Uh, I don't know what you all answered. I talked mm -hmm. about what, what, is, uh, what is the most uh, interactive thing you can do, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Something to that extent. And the answer was actually interactive activities, right? So mm -hmm. the, some of the answers I gave for slides, videos. So a lot of you might say, hey, why is videos not interactive? Doesn't make mm -hmm. sense, right? It's visual, right? It's mm -hmm. audio, right? It must be exciting one. But imagine now for Vyasa show, we play a video that lasts for like 10 minutes. I think a lot of people will be going offline already immediately. <laughs> because you're, you've disengaged them completely, right? So you yeah. can use videos, but use shorter videos. And the video must have a purpose. You don't show it for the sake of showing it. You must link it with what you're trying to say. So in one of my classes, we, we are studying something as uh, people would say very dull and dry. Yeah. I right. teach media ethics, okay? So when you talk about ethics, you want to look at different theories and how we can use it. So what we did was we actually uh, showed an advertisement. I'll show it to you right now, but I don't want to show you the entire advertisement. I'm just going to show you a short snippet of it. And what can we do from there? Is that okay, Yasa? Sure. Can I? Sure, sure, sure thing, please. Okay, I'm just going to share that ad. Okay. So meanwhile, friends, uh, please, again, if you have any questions or some, if you're, uh, if you are especially if you are trainers or teachers and you have some questions for Cheryl, you know, some of the challenges you face during teaching, just drop it by here. Yeah, so Cheryl will definitely be dropping uh, the emails on the info on, on the slides and all later on in the show. So, right, just while waiting for Cheryl, I just want to share something uh, in either end of next week or the following week, we'll be doing a longer session, a lot more detail. And it's again free, totally free. Uh, we Because, you know, trainers need to know how to present well. So this is the best chance to, you know, share all this uh, info out there, right? Uh, we'll be going detail on Padlets, Plameo, Cheryl. <laughs> I saw some facial expressions there. Uh, <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, uh, uh, my screen is kind of jammed. I think you can hear me, but I... Yeah, don't, don't worry, take your time, right? So, and also like uh, things like, you know, certain things in Zoom, a lot of things in Zoom, features in Zoom that we don't normally use, uh, we can actually use it. Uh, Cheryl will be going through some of them later on. In uh, I think probably, Cheryl, you, have you got some dates already? Either next week and or the following week? Yeah, yeah, most probably on the 8th, but I'll, 8th I'll get... 8th of May, right? Yes, most probably on the Friday. Friday, yeah. We will. We are looking forward to that because I think this is a great way to uh, sort of add value during this time on how to use the different tools effectively. 
Okay. Okay, I'm, you might lose me for a short while, yeah? No problem. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, yeah. Cheryl is frozen there. 8th May 2020. That's right. Okay. 8th May. That's right. Cheryl, if you hear me, you can always come in back again, yeah? So 8th May is the most likely date for our extended training, okay, on how to use all the various platforms to promote interactivity, okay, during this time. So we'll be talking a lot more on Kahoot. Uh, and if trainers, you have some, you know, like... Uh, <clears throat> Okay, Cheryl's in back again. Let me just see. Sorry about that. Okay, I need to <laughs> sorry, guys, remove sorry about all that. you. I think too many, <laughs> too many uh, tabs on. Apps. That's my biggest yeah, thing. Yeah. I have too many tabs on. Because <laughs> I've got Facebook, I've got LinkedIn, I've got Kahoot. <laughs> so I'm just <laughs> closing all those tabs. Okay. I was just checking Padlet. There's a lot of interesting things on Padlet that has gone on since we left it earlier. Okay. Oh, you mean the previous one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will so show it to you as we're ending. There's a lot and of interaction on. going on, ongoing, all yes, the time. ongoing. So, so that's the thing which is very cool about that. Later on, you can always look back. So I've got back the screen that I wanted for earlier okay. that I wanted to show you all the video. Sure, sure. Let's yeah. hope and pray it works well. I'm going to start sharing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try again. Fingers okay. crossed. Okay. Share audio. <clears throat> Because I'm actually using Canva. Canva, uh, Canva okay. presentations are actually very cool for those of you who have not used it before. Oh, yeah. You know, today I found something like, you know, so crazy because like uh, Canva, I've been always using it for posters, by the way. You know, Canva is a free, uh, it's something like Illustrator, but, you know, yes. something a lot simpler. So I use it for a lot of my posters and all, and it's free, okay? Yes. So, but Cheryl said something today that you can even do pre presentations uh, like with videos and all. That yes. too much, okay? Yeah. yeah. So you can you can actually, if you can see the screen, it's actually a screenshot from one of the classes where I was teaching media ethics, and I was trying to explain to them one of the cases. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna share that right now. I'm gonna play it. This is a very short clip. Okay. Okay, so just to provide some context to what, what that was about, right? So that's mm -hmm. actually a very famous uh, Pepsi ad, okay, okay. which became very controversial. It was during the context of the uh, black, uh, black movement, the Black Rights Matter movement in America. Right. Right. So right. suddenly Pepsi came up with this very, uh, people considered it to be insensitive ad that okay. showed that, um, you know, uh, Kylie, uh, uh, Kendall Jenner just came out and, you know, brought some Pepsi to the policeman and everything was fine. So people thought it was very <laughs> insensitive okay. and it kind of trivialized the matter, right? So yeah. my students were looking at it, I was showing them as a case to kind of understand how do you understand ethics and what are some things to explain and we're using this theory called TAS, right? So I just want to show you what was the outcome of that and what we used is what we call an interactive whiteboard that I used on Blackboard Collaborate. Let me just show you very quickly. So after that video, I try to get them to actually write on the whiteboard. Uh, I don't know if you can see it yet. Can you see it, Biasa? Yeah, I can. The whiteboard, okay. right? Uh, yellow yes. and white background. Yes. So, TES, uh, this is actually a screenshot for my class. TES is actually one of the elements you look for in terms of to find whether it's ethical or not. Does it follow the ethical standards when you're coming up with an advertisement? So, it looks right. at truth, authenticity, uh, response, uh, respect, those kind of things, right? So right. I just got students to explain to me based on that ad, right? They actually drew it. They actually wrote all of this. So you can use the text. You can see above there's text, eraser. You can come up with a rectangle. You can, you know, uh, move the text around as well. And mm. actually erase. You can use different fonts. So it makes it, it's like doing, uh, like writing on the whiteboard basically. Okay? okay. So immediately from that video, they can actually write, uh, write anything that they feel. So this way you can get them to engage instead of it being a one-way communication where I show the video, I explain it, and then, you know, I move on. Oh, so, that's very one-way. 
and this yes, one is really like we, we get the students to engage and do something uh, during the class together correct correct not just that as they comment you can actually ask them questions right on the board and ask them questions right mm -hmm. why do you say that right uh you you say it's 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 fine it's 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 not a big deal why why do you say that or if you say it's disrespectful why do you say that hi mala <laughs> nice to see you as well all right so you can use i believe you can use different kind of elements in order to to kind of engage your your audiences right so you have the whiteboard you have the polls you have the uh, another thing that i don't want to go too deep into it but we will go through it the, the following session is breakout groups hi Mohan. nice to see you i was just thinking of you Mohan. Uh, we, were, we were talking about internships and you just came into mind i'm supposed to contact you actually i will be contacting you soon right and law of attraction yes definitely <laughs> So I think it's very important for, for another thing that you can actually use on this uh, respective uh, platforms like Blackboard Collaborate. We have something called breakout groups. I love it. Absolutely love it. Why? You know, in Zoom, you have everyone together in the same room. Yes. So it's going to be a little difficult to understand. That's why the next session will really help. But just to give you a bit of an idea, just to something like a teaser. Yeah. yeah. So imagine we are all sitting in the living room. It's a common area, right? So mm -hmm. currently, all of us sitting in the living room during a Zoom session. Okay. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do is, I'm, I'm going to put someone in the master bedroom. I'm going to put someone in the first room. I'm going to put someone in the second room. So okay. everyone goes to their respective rooms. But me as a host or the trainer, I can decide to move from room to room. Okay. And it's fantastic if you're giving them an activity. So imagine a physical group. You're breaking them into groups. Okay. And... Imagine you can break people, you can assign them manually as well as you can also assign them automatically. You can just say, I want to break up into five groups. You can click it on Zoom as well as Blackboard Collaborate and put them into four or five rooms maybe and get them to discuss something. And you as a moderator or trainer or facilitator can go from room to room to see what they are discussing. This way, it becomes easier for them to discuss because wow. you're putting them in, in a way, a physical location, right? Online, right? So same thing, it works like you're doing a group session, live, physically. So this is online. And then when they're done, they just have to leave the room and come back to the living room, which is the main room. Right. Okay. Is, it, is, this, is this Blackboard uh, Collaborator available in Zoom? Uh, Blackboard Collaborate is under Blackboard, the, the, okay. the platform. So it's okay. not the same platform, but you have certain functions you can also find on Zoom as well. The same and, function? Okay, yes. got, it, yes. got it. And it's free. That's the best part. Only polling is not free on Zoom. Okay? okay. But breakout groups you can actually see. I'll just show you what, what it looks like, right? Just to give you a bit of an idea. Maybe you'll be a bit clueless yeah. of what it looks like on Zoom. Let me just share my screen. Sure thing. I don't know if any of you have actually used it before, but I think it's really cool. One of my yeah, favorite yeah. options. There are a lot of things like, you know, when I discuss with my fellow trainers and all, there are a lot of, a uh, um, lot of things within Zoom that we're not really using yet. Yes, yes. Mm. So if you look, if you look at the screen, right, I don't know if you can see three people there. That's not from my yeah. class. I just took it randomly. Yeah. So okay. these three people have been put into one group. So what they can do is similarly to what I can do as a host. So I will give them certain, maybe I can give them the option in Blackboard Collaborate, you give them the option as a presenter or as a moderator. So here you let them play around with the tools, share their screens, use the whiteboard, get them used to it. So if you want them to present anything later, they will know how to present it and how to use those interactive tools. So what right. you are doing, empowering them as participants to kind of test out how it's like to be a moderator or host and present their ideas. So this is where the whole, the last question in the Kahoot, which is audience, you know, you learn better by creating rather than consuming. So right. this way, especially for trainers, right? You all like to do a lot of activities. I think yeah. this would be great. So you still get them to apply the techniques, the strategies that you actually want them to apply and get them to actually use it. And I think I think that's really, really fantastic. If you, if you this is one of my favorite things when it comes to uh, Blackboard Collaborate. And that's why uh, I think I have to be very, very thankful to Inti for, you know, introducing us to Blackboard Collaborate. It's... You know, usually when, when your university or your organization makes you learn all this training, you're like, oh my God, why? Why are they making us learn all these things? <laughs> but it's amazing because when MCO hit, we were all ready. Wow. You know, it we is the right timing. Yes. Uh, one thing, Inti, uh, 
I, I don't give praise very often, but you know, <laughs> where is due? I think he did a fantastic job with, with his online learning. And uh, Azlina, the corporate uh, learning team's director, she's, she's a good friend of mine as well, is fantastic. So right. just to answer Santa Kumaran's question, right? That's how mm. you do group, group activities online using those breakout groups. Okay. Breakout rooms, yeah, that, that'll, be, that'll be really cool actually. Breakout rooms yeah. and all. I think, and we also need to learn how to master it properly yes. uh, during the training time. What you know, not just for the sake of breakouts, but yes. just what's going to happen in each breakout room and how yes. to coordinate each with each the different rooms and all. I think the most important thing is not just about the tool itself, right, guys? Even if we have all the tools in the world, it's like if you speak to photographers, some photographers have the most amazing lens. But they can't yeah. take a decent photograph. Right. Okay, no offense to some photographers out there, but sometimes you see them with the most basic capabilities, and they take better photographs than those who have the most awesome. And it's not because of anything. If you can uh, use the, if you're a facilitator that's willing to learn, you master, like Ibiasa said, right? Master the technologies, master the software, and you cannot run away from the physical aspect of knowing your audience. You need to know what makes them tick. Some of them might not be too comfortable with all these online, online stuff. So how can you make them more comfortable adding certain elements of physical, right? So even when you break them into groups, you can still use pen and paper, right? You can, yeah. but if they want, it, they will think of it like, wow, very simple. Huh? I can just sh illustrate this point so easily. You can get them to share their screen. You can get them to share an image, share a video. But I think end of the day, it's instructions which has to be very clear. And this is something I've learned through trial and error with my students as well, right? Sometimes you put them into breakout rooms and they're like, um, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> they have no idea. So it's good to also leave the question there on the chat, okay? As well as go, even though you've given the assignment or the question or the activity in the main room, once you put them into the breakout rooms, it's a good idea for you to go from room to room to check on them. It's like when we do class activities, it's not chill time for lecture to chill and you know, drink some coffee. It's not. <laughs> it's time for you to walk around, check if everyone is doing all right, guide them. Don't give them the answers. Guide them, facilitate. So I think that's a good way of doing group activities. And the, the, the resources I've given you earlier, the premium, for example, will give you more ideas of what kind of group activities you can do as well. What can you add to make it maybe more interesting, right? And another aspect that, you know, if we, if we have a little bit more time, uh, we, yes, have, we have, yeah. we if we have some time, uh, the flip, have you heard of the flip strategy? A lot of us the, lectures use it. Flip. The flip approach. Let me the just flip, uh, flip approach. Yeah? F-L-I-P, flip. Okay. So okay. the flip approach, the idea is to actually make the students, the teachers and vice versa, or make the uh, trainees, the trainers. Okay. So the whole idea is to give them something that they need to come and present. So instead of you teaching it first, you get them to do something and in practice, they're learning something, but they might not do it accurately or the best way. That's where you come in to facilitate. That way they're con they not consuming, they're creating. So as they're creating, you can point them to the right direction. So this way they will learn better. They will remember better. So we've done flip classroom concept. I've done it since 2009, right? So. But it's also kind of creating that mindset that because as a trainer, right, people are paying money for you to, to do yeah. the training. So you have yeah. to be very careful with how that activity adds value as a lecturer as well. Students will be like, I came to class for you to teach me or for me to teach you. Mm. All right. So when you do this flip, I think it's very useful. They learn very fast. But what you can do, I used to do it for presentation skills class for working adults. So my students sometimes are older than me. Okay, some of them are much older. So when you get them to present, when they are doing that presentation that you're asking them to do, you, you cannot tune off. You need to be very aware of what's happening and explain to them how is it that you can apply these strategies now to make that presentation better. Just say you're teaching presentation skills. So when they're presenting, you add those elements so they understand because they're doing and learning, right? Learn by doing. And this is not a new concept. It's not an online concept. It's 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 an educator. I think that any educator needs to learn, right? And I don't know about you guys, but for me, I learn by doing, right? And there's so many different software that you can use. If you're doing live streaming as well, there's Lightstream, there's StreamYard, there's, I mean, multiple, there's OBS, depending on your level, you know, how advanced you are. So many free options as well. It's just a matter of us being 
open to the idea. And I think with online learning, a lot of people are just kind of closed up to the idea. They don't want to do it. And, you know, MCO is extended yet again. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. we, we, can't, we can't rely on things going back to normal. I think yeah. we have to open up our minds and realize that online learning is here to stay. Even if MCO is, uh, you know, then, end 12, it's still going to be something that all our companies are going to think of implementing if they haven't. Because you never know when something like this is going to happen again. As well as why not use the benefit of online learning, right? You don't have to use yeah. it completely. Now we don't have a choice, right? But yeah. when you go back to the new normal, so so to say, we still need to include this in. And for those of you who are maybe at a different age group that are not used to this online learning, I would say don't be afraid and mm. just try it. And if you are clueless, ask me. <laughs> I will to help ask me I, I will try my best to explain it in the most simple manner possible i'm always okay. willing to help. just drop me a message let, let me plug in your linkedin and facebook uh, contact right so for everybody's benefit okay so cheryl vita is connectable through linkedin and facebook also under cheryl vita um, and uh, later on we will also connect uh, we'll put the comments under the in the comment section right Okay, let me Any just get back. Yeah, and, and drop by your questions again because this, this is the time where we are going to finish the show sometime very soon. So you can drop by your questions so that Cheryl can answer, you know, some of the last few questions. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, Cheryl, would you be able to... Uh, yeah, I wanted to ask you this question. What are you lecturing in Inti? Oh, uh, before that, I think Amina asked the question I noticed. She oh. said, what the black thing? It's actually my pop fil filter. I don't know if uh, I okay, you. why don't you show them? That's, that's a good one. Yeah, because this is, this is cool. It's very good for online teaching. It, the voice is very good there. Yeah, it's actually a mic. mic All right, can you see that? Uh, it's a mic with a pop you, filter. Can, can you just take it out? Yeah. So that's yeah, the actual that's the mic. mic. And, then and the there's a holder filter. holding it, of course. And this is the pop filter, so it makes your audio much clearer. Right. I, I bought it a long time ago, uh, but I use it mostly to, to sing. <laughs> it's, sing. It's one of my hobbies okay. to sing. Yeah. I, I, I sing off and on, uh, but I, I still don't have the guts to put it out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, for now, now, there I, you go. So, I, that, that's why I bought it. Yeah, and, and then, <laughs> so it, it's really cool. Um, yeah. It's really worth the investment. I bought it really cheap on Lazada, actually, uh, Amina. Uh, it was only about, I think the original price was 600, 500. I can't remember. But I believe I bought it for about 350 or something like that, maybe lesser, with the pop filter, the mic, and that whole arm as well, which is really a good price. Because usually the mic itself costs that much. Yeah, it's, so, it's uh, yeah. audio technica is quite an expensive mic if, from what I know. Yeah. Okay, so wait, Sangita says, cool, I love to sing. Okay, Sangita, please get in touch with Cheryl on the <laughs> pop filter part. <laughs> okay, so and, and Muihan uh, asked a question, can we use Blackboard Collaborate on Zoom or Microsoft Teams? Blackboard Collaborate is actually a system on its own. Okay. It's like using Zoom. It's an equivalent to Zoom. So if you're using Blackboard Collaborate, you don't have to use Zoom already. Does that make sense? Uh, like so it, it's, it's a whole a learning version, system by itself. It's a learning system by itself. It's actually, it's a, what do you call it? Uh, they call it LMS, right? It's a learning okay. management system, Blackboard. But what we are using is called Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, to be very specific. Because mm -hmm. Blackboard Collaborate is like the first version. Blackboard Collaborate Ultra is what I'm currently using, right? Let me just right. type it in. Yeah. Blackboard... Uh, Collaborate Ultra. Uh, maybe Anand can help share that. Okay. Yeah. So Ma Madhu, Madhu says that blended learning is the way forward. I completely agree. I completely agree. What, what do you mean by blended learning? Okay. Blended learning is, it means, you know, blend for you to blend two things together. So from your physical classes, you blend it online. So there's a connection between ah, okay. your offline and your online classes. So say, mm. for example, I go into class and I ask them to maybe uh, discuss a particular case. Okay, And mm. you know, we don't have that much time in class because there's a limitation yeah. and have syllabus to finish. So then, <laughs> and then we, I, I saw a very interesting question, but, <laughs> and then we bring it, we bring it, uh, 
to an online platform where we can discuss further. All right. Ashwina, it really depends on, on, on uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, interpretation of what can sing means. Ashwina asked uh, whether Miss Cheryl can do sing. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see maybe, one day. Right? We'll maybe have to you see can do day. a short demo here later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, don't let looks deceive you, okay? I seem very confident, but when it comes to singing, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm very scared. So, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The question is, uh, how much does Blackboard Collaborate Ultra cost? Oh, that part, I'm not too sure. I can okay. ask for you because uh, that is actually the institution's uh, the institution's uh, Using that software, software that we are actually using. We've been using it for quite a number of years and we, I believe we have a package because we use it uh, for the entire university. All our okay. campuses use Blackboard Collaborate. So um, okay, yeah. I think it comes yeah. with the LMS system and then depending on which package you choose as well. So if you right. want, I can find out from our corporate team. Uh, who asked that question, Vyasa? Was it Mohan? Uh, that one is, uh, okay, someone in LinkedIn earlier. Okay, uh, I probably we can post it down later on lah. Yes, right. and just let me know so maybe I can connect or they can message me on LinkedIn and I can ask my, my colleagues who are running the, the teaching and learning team. But sure. usually, uh, most of this software, you also have um, other software like RepTBT, things like that that can add questions, uh, very interactive questions, but those software cost quite a bit. So it really depends on how actively, if you are actually creating courses, like imagine if you're going to do an online course from scratch, like in right. Inti, I've personally worked with the e-learning team to create an entire program, degree program uh, for a particular subject online. So if you're going to do things like that, then I say it's worth the investment because it's not like one, two thousand. <laughs> it's way more than that, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I can get the prices from you from our corporate team to find out. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That'll be good. So, and then uh, Joanne said, uh, I can film mukbang with the mic. <laughs> you can mukbang. film what? Mukbang. Joanne, I think you got to just let us know Mark what is mukbang, okay? This is young people's uh, terminology. <laughs> I'm not that young, I guess. <laughs> okay, I think it's got, I know I know something got to do with, I think it's a game, right? Eat piece. Ah. Okay, I mean, we'll wait for Joanne's answer later on. You so, eat a bunch uh, of food and talk, oh my God. <laughs> oh. The crazy things people it's do It's a challenge, online. is it? It's a challenge. It's a challenge, okay. Mug, uh, Anand said that eat a bunch of food and talk, uh, and that's mud bang, okay. But it's not a challenge, so you do it for fun. It's like watching video gamers. Uh, what, what's the guy's name? PewDiePie. You just watch him playing video games. I have no idea why. Maybe it's a young people <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's just something people do. I, I don't get it. Maybe my my age is not to that. <laughs> it's a thing. Agree. Uh, agree. A whole different. Uh, thing there going on yes, there. Yes, definitely. It's a thing, Anand said. It's a thing people do. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got to check it out. What's <laughs> Anand Tose. said, yes, sir, come, let's have mukbang with Tose. Okay. <laughs> All right. Eating show. Yuan <laughs> said it's an eating show. So next okay. time we have, yes, sir, you probably good a new idea for you to do an eating show. Facebook conversations with Vyasa, conversations that matter. Then we just keep eating, 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 eating. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yes. Yeah. Sure. Okay. We got another request, serious one, on, on showcase your singing talent, Miss Cheryl. I think you seriously have got to do that one of the live shows. <laughs> Tracy, the name of the show is Three Fun Technologies for Online Teaching. <laughs> so, you know. I'm trying to be as structured as possible. So don't 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 stray me away from my purpose. <laughs> okay, so Cheryl, do you have anything uh, to share before we finish? I think maybe you can just uh, drop in some of the, uh, you know, any of the technologies that you found interesting and then we can have it on another show uh, on the 8th of May on Friday. Okay, so this mm -hmm. is the tentative date for the show with Cheryl. Again, this time we do a lot more detail and probably it'll be in Zoom. It's a, going to be like two to three hours where we go right down to the detail. All right. And it's a free one. So no need to worry. Uh, you just have to just register. Lah. Okay. Uh, and then um, Jeopardy Games. Uh, Cheryl? If Play, you... Fractal. Play Fractal is a, a Jeopardy game that you can okay. actually create. Uh, okay. That's another option for gamification. Bye, Mohan. No problem. Mohan has got another show at 6. 
Uh, yeah, Mulan is busy, busy, busy. Yes. Which is always good, I think. Uh, his show is the elephant in the room. Okay. Yes, I think that's pretty awesome. The kind of topics he's talking about. I think he's yeah, talking yeah. about unemployment today, which is yeah. actually quite exciting. Very, very interesting. There is another link actually. Yeah. Uh, there is another link that I want to share that uh, talks about uh, remote remote learning that you can okay. find all the links. Uh, one of it. I'm just going to share it here with Anand so you can okay. share it with the rest of them. It's actually turned up on my feed today, which has a lot of the things that I talked about today as well mm -hmm. and more. So okay. Play Factor can be used for, uh, like Kahoot is very uh, basic level, right? So Play Factor, actually, you can do a lot of things with it. You can come up with like definitions. You can use Quizlet, for example, to come up with uh, like ca cards on different definitions, like what is mental health, what is emotions, what is uh, like different terms you learn, like in organization behavior. That is more like academic side. But mm -hmm. even if you want to play with different terms as well, you can use uh, Quizlet. Okay. Uh, Quizlet. 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 Uh, okay. Q, 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 U, I, Z, L, E, T. I believe it's in that link that I just sent as well, Quizlet. Quizlet. Uh, okay. Yeah, play factor. You have quite a number of these uh, softwares. It's just a matter of how much you can use based on their free versions. Okay. But uh, what is the most easiest to use as well? Same like the live streaming platforms, right? It depends on how well was your tech, how fast you want to do it. Because some of it, you actually it actually requires you to have a bit of learning. So like the Jeopardy games, it's not that as easy as Kahoot. You just type it in. It takes a little bit more of preparation. Okay. Okay, and then uh, you can use something called Wheel Games, if I'm not mistaken, it's called Wheel Games. Wheel. So, Wheel, W H E E L, Wheel Games. Wheel Games, huh? Okay. Wheel, wheel Names, sorry, my bad. Wheel Names. Yeah, so Wheel of Names. So, that one, Wheel of Names, not Games, sorry. Wheel of Names, for example, if sometimes when you go for trainings, people, you don't want to choose groups and things like that, or who's going who's gonna to answer next. You don't know who it is. So you can play something like, you know, Wheel of Fortune last time it goes around. Yeah. But except it's with people's names. Oh, so you can okay. click on the wheel and then it will say, okay, we are supposed to answer. So right, it's right, a right. fun way of uh, getting people to answer. Got so that, that's another option as well. Yeah. So th there's a lot more to that. But if you look at the, the link I sent earlier, the no, no m i u m dot no com. Yeah, no, no meal. Radical okay. remote. That one has a link of many, many different types as well that you can use. Uh, there's Google Classrooms if you want to have a space or platform to use, especially for educators, you can use it free if it's attached to your institution. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of those uh, platforms uh, or games. Uh, there's a lot of gamification techniques that you can use. A lot of us are trained. Uh, I think uh, another lecturer that, that does this very actively is Putri. Putri, she does a lot of augmented learning and for the most, like you will never imagine for law, all right? So mm. that, that is just proof that you can take any subject. Like I'm teaching ethics. Ethics mm. is as dry as possible, as well as I'm teaching comm research, mm. right? Mm. And I teach professional development. So these elements can actually help make your class more interesting, can make your training more exciting. You can mm. play around with all these different options. So it's just a matter of you kind of trying, but... Too much of anything is also not good. <laughs> so yes, don't like, overdo it. Yeah. It's like then it become all games and no no tree, no teaching, right? Yes. yes. So okay. understanding how it relates to each other, there's a lot of if you want to have your games connected to what you're trying to teach, you have to really plan ahead and ensure that the content can be fun at the same way, still get them to learn something. Like uh, my class, if you ask of them, uh, I part of our learning activities before MCO, going for movies. Mm. <laughs> so, wow. but we can relate it back to actually. I can take anything and relate it back to movies, right? Because we are in communications. Yes, yes. So a lot of learning aspects. So sometimes we just learn about things like movie credits for introduction to mass comm, right? Or we look right. at uh, recently we looked at Spirited Away, that movie that won some awards. Uh, I think in yes. early two thousand. The I think it's it's a Japanese Japanese movie if I'm not mistaken, right? So. Mm. You can even look at those kind of movies and analyze it. So in communication, you can actually lose many tools in order to make it more interesting as well. So it really depends on you as a facilitator. But mm. what I would say at the end of the day is just don't give up and try. And don't have to learn like 15 technologies in one day. Just try one. Try one. Just one. True. 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 Micro steps. Try one and 
try it in your next training. If it works, try it in your next training. Then soon you're going to be an expert. You know, it's yeah. going to be so easy for you. And to be very honest, that's how I learn. I learn right. new technologies every day. You just have to have a willingness to want to learn. Mm -hmm. And if you get lost, come and find me. Even if I've never used that technology before, I will learn. <laughs> mm. Okay, super. All right, so anything else uh, you'd like to share, Cheryl? We are coming up to the end of the show, everyone. Uh, if you want to, you know, just drop by, say uh, your thanks or, or your, you know, send your love to Cheryl, just drop it right now, okay, before we finish the show. Cheryl, do you have anything to share, like, uh, uh, before you leave? I think there's one more question from um, Madhu Viran. Madhu? <laughs> Uh, on what LMS platform are you using in Inti? Uh, we use Blackboard. Blackboard. Yes. Okay. And so, that's why we have, uh, uh, we also have like uh, different systems. Like previously, uh, when I was in Inti KL, we use Moodle as well because uh, Moodle. some platforms, yeah, Moodle, yeah. 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 But that is for our uh, Sydney Business School. That means for MBA. So only for the lectures teaching MBA. But primarily Inti itself, because we are connecting with a different university in Sydney. So it's their platform. So it depends on the program, what kind of program it is. But Inti, generally, all our groups, we use Blackboard Collaborate. And I have to say, it's it's really amazing in terms, especially Blackboard Ultra, right? right. It's, it's amazing what it can do. And everything is in that same system. And generally, it's very easy to learn. And I think that's one thing very important because in MCO, we want something that is fast. You know, all of us still need to make a living. So we want something that is fast and can help us get on the road immediately, almost immediately. So to learn Blackboard Collaborate is actually very easy. Okay. Blackboard Collaborate, right? So that's I think that's something interesting. You definitely uh, want to check that one out also. But I think there's a lot of things you can actually do with the existing platforms like Zoom. Yes. Uh, with all the, you know, these uh, uh, existing ones that we already have. And there are also a lot of free ones and all a little bit paid a little bit, right? And that also yes, will... 15, 20 yeah. USD. So if you're a trainer, then I think it's really worth it for you to do it. Or if something that you want to do long term, right? There, there's, I think there's a huge market when it comes to online. Because especially in Malaysia, not everyone has tapped into it. And even those who have the technology might not know how to interact well. So what's going to put you forward or going to make you someone that is going to stand out among all these trainers i believe or educators is someone who is able to not just cope with the technology but use it very well yeah true. i think that's what's going to make you stand out in the market right now okay so everyone thanks for joining the show today uh thank you very much cheryl no problem for you know being here let me just uh, plug in your linkedin and facebook contact so that you know those who want to reach out to you can always reach out to you again it was super fun i think i learned a lot today definitely uh and uh, for those who are watch who love this show who enjoy the show you can always look back at the recording in our youtube you can actually uh we will plug it in later on in the comment section our past trainings and also today's uh, talk on in conversations that matter all right so with that we will say bye 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 guys and adios I'll see you again stay safe